All right, this is your girl, Jay Slay. And if you want to get into this ginger slay, baby, continue watching this video and go ahead and drop your girl a like down there and, and talk to me in the comments. Share this video as well. Get into it. This is Slay Life Hair. If you are interested in these bundles, go to slaylifehairco.com. It is for my personal brand. If you love these lashes, this is the lash called Slay. But of course, get into these lashes as well. All of this is available on my website at slaylifehairco.com. Let's get into it. Welcome back to all my Slay babies out there. If you are new here, hey girl, hey. Join the sub crew. So I'm going to be using Cajun Spice and Cinnamon from the brand called Kiss in order to create a ginger look. Now, I did use three pots of hot water. Um, you can either boil it or let it get super, super hot and then pour it in. As long as it's got that nice steam going on, um, that hot water um, helps the color take much quicker when you dip in your bundles or your wig. So I'm going to use some household gloves. These are new, fresh out of the pack in order to do this dye, just simply because I didn't want the gloves to break while I'm dyeing because I don't want that color all over my hands and nails. So to start off, I'm going to mix in the color cinnamon. And to get all of that dye to that bottle, I'm going to dip that bottle in there into the water, shake it around the bottle, and then pour out. And I'm going to continue to do this a few times until I got all that color because I need all my coins out of that bottle, okay? It's expensive. <laughs> So we're just gonna do that for each of the bottles of color. So I ended up using two bottles of cinnamon, one full bottle of Cajun spice, and then a half bottle of French cognac in this mix. So still trying to get the cinnamon out. And then I'm going for another bottle of cinnamon and I'm gonna pour that in there, all right? All right, so next I'm going in with my Cajun Spice bottle and I'm gonna go ahead and squirt all of that into the water here. And again, using the method of putting water inside of the bottle, shaking it up and pouring it out to make sure I get all of that dye out of there. Um, be careful with this dye. Make sure that you're in an area where um, you can get the dye up very quickly without it staining anything. Um, it's probably best to do this in like a kitchen area or a um, somewhere where you don't mind getting dye. I definitely wouldn't do this in like a carpeted area or you can try the bathroom as well in the tub. So I'm going to take that brush there and just swirl that around. Make sure I mix out any clumps or lumps that's in that water. Be careful when you're stirring because it does splash, which is why I chose to use a big tub instead of the smaller tubs um, that I see some people using because I need some some height for the splashes, you know? <laughs> so uh, that's what we're doing here. And I just needed enough room in order to put the whole wig in there and really soak in that color. So just, I, you see those lumps and clumps there? So I hit it against the um, wall of the tub just to see if I got a lump or a clump. And I'm just going to keep checking and putting it against the wall to make sure I'm not seeing any. I am going to take a paper towel. And using that paper towel, I'm going to dip that into the water just to check the color and see if it's to my liking. So take a white paper towel and dip it inside of the water and do a color check. All right, so ooh, it's looking all nice and cinnamon brown with a hint of orange. I want a little bit more of an orange ting twang in it. So that's where you see me take my French cognac from the Adore brand. And I'm going to pour that bottle in here as well. Since it has more of a brighter orange tone to it. I only used half a bottle though, okay? 
So go ahead and mix that product in as well and be careful when you're stirring. As you can see, the splashback is in full effect. So just be very careful when you are um, stirring. You don't want to stir too hard or go in a different motion or anything like that too abruptly because it'll splash really bad. So once you're done stirring, take your wig. And I have a video where I did a bleach bath on this old wig um, before I dipped it into this um, watercolor. So uh, if you're interested in that, please go watch that as well on my channel. So you're just gonna take your wig or bundles and you're gonna dip that into the watercolor. Now you see how quickly that took? <laughs> It's already turned and it's only been in there literally seconds. So you wanna get that color everywhere. And the first couple of dips um, take most of the dye. So whatever part, whether you want the frontal or the closure or the top or the bottom part of your bundles or wig to take the color the most, dip that in first, okay? So um, I'm just gonna continue dipping here and getting any spots and i'm combing through with my fingers just to see if there are any spots that were left undone um, i'm using the brush to kind of part it apart a little bit so i can see in between the wig to see if there's anything that did not get touched with the watercolor so just going through it with my fingers there swirling it around because i wanted to get good and even I did have highlights in this wig prior to me um, doing a bleach bath on it. Um, so I imagine it's going to have some spots that are a little bit lighter, but not all the way because it should, should still be pretty even. So once I'm satisfied and I feel like the color has gotten to where it needs to be, I'm going to wring it out a little bit and while I transfer it over to the sink. <laughs> and then I'm going to go ahead and start rinsing that out. I'm going to use my brush here and just go ahead and get all of that color rinsed out of that hair. You can see that orange going down the drain. So prior to me shampooing, I always like to rinse out as thoroughly as possible and then go in with a good shampoo. I did not capture that, but I did shampoo that wig about a good two to three times. And after shampooing, this is what it looks like. Of course, when it's super wet and damp, it's gonna look darker. Um, so as you guys can see, now that I have um, blow dried it, look at that ginger color, y'all. It's giving me poison ivy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I love it. This is perfect for fall. I would love to have this in a bob wig. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make me a bob. <laughs> yeah, let's get into it. I am blow drying it with a hot and hotter um, blow drying brush. And it is a godsend for my natural hair. I love it. And it also makes it easier when I'm blow drying wigs and bundles and stuff like that too. So I love it all the way around. You can find it at your local beauty supply store. That is what it looks like dry guys. I'm going to go ahead and curl and style this and this is the finished look. Oh, get into it. It's so pretty. Yes, you better go girl. All right, y'all, this is the finished look. I am loving and living for this ginger color. It is giving me so much life. Y'all see this? And this is Slay Life hair on the Slay. These are Slay Life lashes on the lash. Yes, honey. Of course, we were all stuck. <laughs> but yes, get into it. If y'all like this video, like, share this video, subscribe to my channel, get me where I need to be. Help us out. And don't forget to go over to slaylifehairco.com, purchase your bundles. Purchase your lashes, purchase your bonnets, purchase your edge wraps. This is your girl, Jay Slate, and I'll be back with another video. Bye.
bye.